Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you had a great day of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about updates from the Federal Reserve's January meeting minutes. Before I do so, let's take a look at the major indices. Starting with the uh, uh, S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY. This is a spider ETF that tracks the 500 largest U.S. companies. Today up 0.2%. After hours down 0.03%. Past week up 1.67%. Next is Dow Jones Industrial Average, ticker symbol DIA. This is another spider ETF. Today up 0.27%. After hours down 0.02%. Past week up 1.93%. Last but not least is NASDAQ, ticker symbol QQQ. This is a power shares ETF. A lot of uh, tech companies trade on the NASDAQ. Today down 0.02%, after hours down 0.08%. So the, as I mentioned, Spider, or I mean the uh, S&P 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average were up and the NASDAQ was slightly down today. Now, as I mentioned, the Federal Reserve's January meeting minutes caused the market to move higher after showing division on rate hikes. And all three major indices moved positively as the release of the meeting minutes showed policymakers were divided on whether they want to raise interest rates later this year. And main takeaway was that the Fed will be patient in raising rates and likely will stop reducing the assets on the balance sheets later this year. Again, emphasis on the word patient as the Fed holds on raising interest rates. And NASDAQ inched less than 0.1% higher, but it was enough to extend its winning streak to 8th straight sessions marking its longest streak since August. And in terms of sectors that led the, the upward trend today, uh, materials uh, up 1.7% of the S&P 500, followed by financials and industrials, while real estate, healthcare, and consumer staples, uh, as well as uh, communication services, finished in the red. U.S. Treasury prices were little changed after the Fed released, with the two-year yield finishing flat at 2.5% and the 10-year yield rising a basis point to 2.65%. And then March, WTI crude oil gained 1.5% to settle at $56.92 per barrel, the highest finish for a front-month contract since mid-November. So overall, uh, very positive news from the meeting minutes. Going back to my Robinhood portfolio. So that's all for this video. What are your thoughts on the meeting minutes? Comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.